and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain's Rage. We're gonna go ahead and bring this one back. Played this a little over a month ago. This was a fun one where we have a combo with Swain and Dragon's Rage. That's what our deck's built around. Um, so Dragon's Rage. Um, all right, so yeah, an ally kicks an enemy into the enemy nexus, striking both, and if the enemy survives, recall it. So the, the key here is that we have our ally striking the enemy nexus. And the reason why that's important is because whenever you have leveled up Swain, whenever it strikes the enemy nexus, that's nexus strike, it does three damage to all enemies and then the enemy nexus again. So we can basically get this leveled up Swain to nexus strike easily with the dragon's rage. And that's what our, our combo is going to be. We're gonna have some other ways to try to get Swain to deal nexus damage. We're going to have Fey Guide be able to grant it Elusive, and we also have Might to be able to grant it Overwhelm. So we have a few different ways. Get Swain to strike that enemy Nexus and get that Nexus Strike going. Now, of course, we do need to level up Swain, so we're going to have to do 12 non-combat damage first. And so in order to do that, we have cards like Noxion Fervor, that that's 6 non-combat damage. Our Death's Hand is a 3. Our Ravenous Flock is 4. And so those are going to be our main ways to help level up Swain. And then, of course, Dragon's Rage. Um, that's that's a great way to level up Swain as well. We got the Swain Leviathan combo in here. We have Zed because we are going to be pretty aggressive. Like we have all these things that can strike the enemy Nexus, and Zed is another card that works really well with Fey Guide, right? Like those curve out together where we, we can give Zed elusive, so that that can uh, do some wonders for us. Um, and yeah, we can just kind of be aggressive. You know, Iron Ballista in here with some Overwhelm. So this should be a pretty sweet deck. Let's give it a try. We're just gonna be playing it over in normal. That's what we do here on Meme Tier Mondays with our decks. And we're gonna try to Dragon's Rage, kick some people with Swain. Yeah, this one, this one's a little bit more legit than some of our other meme tier decks. This one can, this one's pretty legit. Bunch of good cards in here. Alright, Mulligan, 8 drop, and we'll keep the rest. Death's Hand can kill both of their champions. And then we got a good curve out with House Spider into Ballista. <laughs> yeah, the the three Dragon's Rage, that's that's pretty meme. -y. I'm on it. I I'll trade my 2-2 two -two for the 2-1, it's, it's fine. I don't need to try to work around only trading the 1-1 one -one for it. I'll give them that opportunity. I'll just start the damage process happening. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Certainly hope this works. Hope no twin disciplines. Retreat, recall, oh. That's not something I was really expecting, but that works really well for them. They get to put it back into play and, and attack. I am the blade in the darkness. Yeah, good play, good play. Uh, I'm gonna skip the block because I need my one one to stay alive so I can knock in fervor that one one. We got our own Zed. That's what's up. Happy to do whatever's needed. Do not deny me. <clears throat> Obviously, one more mana would have been ideal. I would have just you know, could, could even killed the Living Shadow. Yeah, that's, that was a good Zed Retreat play. Yeah, that's not something you necessarily see that often. Um, but yeah, that was a good a good Zed Retreat play. <laughs> we go as one. Go get it. All right. This Noxion Fur should still happen, so it should, should still be 6 out of 12. Or, you know, yeah, so, you know, it turns it into 7, but, you know, that, 
Oh, yes, that counts as six of our level up. So Zed, you know, costs zero right now, so they could play Zed and still have a three extra mana to do something else. I won't stand by. Like scales of the dragon. Okay, but they decided not to play zero mana Zed. They will suffer long. Yeah, let's do this. You know, so say, seeing if I wanted to play the, like, the Might first on the Zed or anything like that. There was Twin Disciplines. Oh, they play Zed right here. So I can Dragon's Rage kick the Zed. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. I became a soldier. Without a sound. Can't do that and Dragon's Rage. Ionia has so many things, you know, like they have so many tricks they can be using here to save their Zed, but I'm still just gonna do it. And you, it feels like they definitely have, like they, they purposely did not play their Zed with the three mana last turn, so you'd think that they'd have, you know, like deny or, you know, things like that this turn or go get it. Okay, so let's see how this works. They should thank you. So basically, so so that's eleven out of twelve. Puts that into play. We strike that. I'm not sure. Like, do we get? Okay, we do get the bonus three. So it counts as like striking. This the dragon's rage counts as striking the other thing first. And then the Nexus. So then, like, we strike the unit first, which leveled up the Swain, and then we struck the Nexus. So then we got the leveled up Swain Nexus strike. Cool. Alright, let's just give the Zed Overwhelm, because then it's leveled up, so then we make the other Zed also Overwhelm. And I imagine they're dead from here. And obviously we have the Noxian Fervor for backup. There we go, GG's. Yep, I had to do that for science. We have done what is needed. You have had to do that for science. Okay, Nightfall. This deck is great. This and Midrange Frostbite are like the two best decks that are still underrated. Our hand isn't the best. I'm gonna, let's keep the Fey Guide. I think that we'll draw something that costs three or less, like a Zed that would be good to Fey Guide. We have our Death's Hand that can take try to take down Diana. They have Diana to, to challenge. Ooh, okay. Or we have Twin Disciplines. That's also good. Yeah, protecting Zed. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Okay, no Diana. So do I want to Death's Hand? No, I'll just keep the three spell mana. We'll just hold on to that spell mana. Because I don't necessarily need to just grant Zed Elusive. Just accidental art. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if they uh, hot fix Jinx at all. I don't know. What if I just Dragon's Rage this Crescent Guardian? That would level that would level up my Zed because that would be you know Nexus striking again, or just play this Fey Guide for a blocker. Just play the Fey Guide. Stay hidden. That's another little cool combo with our our other champion with Dragon's Rage. I guess I have to double Death's Hand. Whatever challenges this Zed, we have to double Death's Hand it. Zed down. Hmm. You gotta sneak that in while I didn't have mana. Death hand that thing, but I'm gonna just hold on to this. Man, they are gonna have so many 5 3 overwhelms. This deck's pretty crazy. Crazy efficient. Okay. So that's me taking 8 damage right now. Like if they have another nocturne, I'm I'm just in all the trouble. I will break. At least that's not a nocturne. You dare oppose Noxus. Puts me to one. Four. All right, we'll go to four, and we will level up Swain. Sacrifices must be made. Victory awaits. So now, Pill Cascade is what they could have for the Shade Stalker to be able to block the Swain. Or I can go Death's Hand, they play a blocker, Death's Hand. Basically just double double Death's Hand and not let them have... Not let them block. Um, alternatively, we can have Fey Guide. Ugh. Merely pawn in a greater game. We are at war. Just worried about Pill Cascade. What's more likely, that they have Pill Cascade, or that, that if I had Death's Hand and stunned this thing, that then, they, then they'd have another blocker? I guess it's probably more likely that they have another blocker than they have a Death, than that they have a Pill Cascade. Oh, come on. Hide no longer. It was Pill Cascade. That's more likely they had a blocker. Their time has come. Oh, that doesn't stun it because it's not a back row enemy. What am I doing? Oh, I just threw this game. That's right, it doesn't stun it anymore. 
think I can save this game. I don't like the so the thing is, is I didn't like the Leviathan pass line. That's that was the most obvious thing was to do that, but I thought it was going to be very easy for them to kill us through Leviathan pass with cards like you know like I was at, I was only at four and with cards like um, you know like either Doom Beast or Nocturne with with uh, with that card and also with uh, you know like more more elusives like they could play. I, don't know, I just felt like they they could be able to just if I went if I just went Leviathan they would just say okay play nothing. And, uh, let's see. And basically on their turn, like, I, like that deck is just so good at, like, on that turn of just, like, unloading a bunch of things in one turn and, and killing you from lethal with one turn. And with us only at four, I just thought that they would be able to do that, and I wasn't, um, I wasn't confident in our ability to stay alive an additional turn. But I guess, I don't, I don't know, I guess the Leviathan could attack also. Yeah, I guess it was probably just Leviathan. Yeah, I guess it was just Leviathan. I think I overthought it. The, yeah, the problem is if I, if I went Fey, I could only play one spell. Yourself to the shadow. I couldn't do two... I couldn't do both spells with Fey Guide. Obviously, what I did wasn't correct. Was it an easy turn? Yeah, you're right. So yeah, I should have just played Leviathan and then hold up the, the Death Sands for for defense. They follow the wrong master. I just played. I played into the Pill Cascade and didn't need to. We go as one. All right, so our Nocturne Fervor just went halfway to leveling up Swain and also... I'm gonna pass. And also, besides that, um, traded with Hush and Vanguard Bannerman. For justice! For Demacia! Good pass. So now, right now, Arachnoid Sentry costs zero mana, because we're going to waste this mana anyway. So they're costing zero mana right now. Do I want to just play it as a zero mana 3-2, or wait? I'm going to play it here so they don't get a nice easy block on the Living Shadow, and because I really don't want this Garen to level up, right? So like, I don't want it to be able to strike and level up. At least not easily. Definitely wish Dragon's Rage was fast speed, not slow, so that I could respond to a single combat with Dragon's Rage. Coming in hot! Ready to do my part. Sit there, isn't it? Keep up the good work. Hold back the darkness! Not my first fight. I am a shadow. All right. You will be scoured from this land. Try me. So there's Garen's first strike. 
Go get him, Captain Farron. Well, we can still we can still Dragon's Rage and bounce the Garen. We'll start with the stun. I guess, I mean, so we could level up, we could level up Zed by having Zed kick, but I guess Captain Farron does a lot more damage to their Nexus. So there we go, Dragon's Rage. That was a very good Arachnoid Sentry game. Okay, so they didn't have any fight spells, never had single combat, and I was happy about that. Jeez. None escape their shadow. Yeah, Dragon's Rage should be a slow speed spell for how powerful it is, but for the person holding the Dragon's Rage, I wish it was fast speed. But yeah, it at fast speed would be really good. Okay, so similar-ish type deck. Let's... Uh, I guess we should maybe keep the Ravenous Flock to pair with the Sentry. Maybe. I just think that like you know like these things are gonna be too big for the flock. We can take down a, a Garen with Arachnoid Sentry Double Flock. We wear red to honor the fallen. I guess I just trade these. No closer. So Swain's now at four. I fight for the fallen. Lame. The few for the many. Draw two different dragons. Dragons. Why are the blade? We talking about dragons? Darkness? Who does not know the name Laurent? Oh, come on. That was a good play by them. After the battle of the vision. Strike for justice. Oh, that's not going to level up Swain. Because that only does three damage because of the tough. Oh, what am I doing? Doesn't level up Swain. I was thinking that gets... We are at war. That Dragon's Rage is actually just a great draw. So that, that gets the blocker out of the way, so I can attack immediately. Okay, we got our, we got our, our uh, combo, Swain's Rage. Swain's Rage. 
play Aurelian Soul next turn. I guess we can worry about that next turn. Just get this guy out of here. I will break it's like they play a really insult. Like basically, they have to have a fight spell. Okay. GGs. Swain's rage. History will remember. That was awesome. Yeah, cause after that we give yeah give Swain elusive a really until gonna block Swain. That was pretty awesome. Okay, let's mulligan these and we'll keep Grenadier. Uh, Trundle Trindamir. I mean, I could see Elisa being very good against Trundle Trindamir, but they also just have like removal and stuff. Let's look for other things. I really want Zed having the attack token on turn three. I would now like Ravenous Flock so I could pair Sentry plus Flock to kill a Weirding Stones. And also Flock goes towards leveling up Swain. Nothing escapes my watch. Ugh. In I hate that Avarosan Sentry. In Avarosa's name. I could stun that thing and try to attack for six. I guess so. Don't love this. Okay, no avalanche and no weirding stones. Safeguard our homes. All right, so I do have a backup Swain in case something goes wrong with this one. So if they play Trundle, he's gonna attack with everything. I would do more damage if I would put it on the the sentry, but this kills their trundle. And of course still does does four damage to them. This it would have done five, so it would have done one extra point of damage if we would have put it on the sentry. Okay, never mind. Does not kill Trundle. Fight the signal fires! That was a great troll chant. Now that thing just regens. Bow to your king. Death doesn't scare me. <laughs> After the battle of the region. Alright, so we're at five. The trolls are going to war! I hope they don't have another troll chant. Cool. Not another troll chant. That's pretty good. Leave them nothing. Okay, and they'll be down to eight next turn whenever we play Leviathan. At any cost. Should be playing a bunch of Ice Pillars. I'm just gonna pass. What's that noise? Okay, so they cannot play another Ice Pillar. They could still play Ruination. A conquest for Empire. But I'm glad they can't play another Ice Pillar and give this vulnerable and then and then a Trindamir. Uh 
Oh, I don't know. There's so many great voice lines in this game. I don't know if I have like a just a favorite. There's so many great ones. Like War Chefs has great voice lines. Um, there are so many good ones. If I play Swain, I still have a good amount of mana available. So I go Swain. If they go Ruination, I should be able to go double Noxion Fervor. And I think we get him. They can, like, heal their Nexus for, like, one with three mana. So there we go. Baited out the Ruination, and we are four and one. This deck was very... This deck felt pretty legit. This was, this was good. Swain's Rage here. Uh, I didn't... You know, like, that, that one loss. You know, I didn't go with the very obvious line of play, the Leviathan, and I think it cost me. I think that was what I was supposed to do. And it was the obvious line. I tried to do something tricky, and we got uh, broken up by Pale Cascade. But that was a very good game, too. And so uh, had some good ones. We did get to pull off the combo with Dragon's Rage and Swain one game. We got to Dragon's Rage with Captain Farron another game. And we got to Dragon's Rage with Zed and level up a Zed in the process. So we got to kind of do all of that with Dragon's Rage. Uh, so very happy about that, and uh, yeah, I think our deck was pretty legit. You know, like we fixed it, fixed a lot of it after last time. You know, like last time I think it was a lot more meme tier. You know, like we had like Shunpo and Decimates and things like that. Um, this time I think this worked out really well. I liked how our deck looked. So there we go. You want to have some fun with Swain? Something a little different? You want to play a bunch of Dragon's Rages? Give this one a try. Swain's Rage. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.